Hey, welcome back to another video. I just received my Patreon payout for this month and um, I have to say a big thank you to all my donators. Um, not just because of the money, but um, to actually see that there are people out there that uh, appreciate what I do with the community work and creating presets and creating uh, videos and so on. And I think it's pretty much the first time in my musical career that I get uh, a bit of money on a regular basis just from, from, from music. So it feels pretty great and I, I see that I have to just continue what I do to be on the right path. So a big thank you to all my donators and yeah, thank you. Um, in this video I want to talk about additive synthesis and I created yesterday an experiment and it's a work in progress um, to have an additive synthesizer inside the grid and it looks like this here. Uh, let's um, zoom it a bit out. So we have a sine wave generator and multiple partials in different frequencies. And this is how it sounds. And the trick I used here is, uh, let's create a pulley grid. and exchange triangle for a sine wave. And let's use an oscilloscope to see what we do. And I used a Chappy Chef module. Ah, okay. And when we go to one here, we basically have the same sine wave as above, which is the fundamental. We have just a small amount of offset. Um, that's maybe because of latency, I think. But um, when we now want to have um, twice the frequency of the fundamental, we just go to two here. And now we have um, if this is a 3, 440 hertz, then we had here um, 880 hertz. So 440 hertz, 880 hertz. Okay. And um, we can just put in here 3. So I have 3 times the fundamental frequency or 4 times the fundamental frequency of this. And we can create multiple partials from the same sine wave okay so this is the trick in in this preset here basically as you can see we have on the top here our sine wave and the sine wave is going straight into all these chappy chef um, modules with different numbers at the bottom so we have 10 times here the frequency of the fundamental sine wave okay and then we just layer them on top or in parallel. And let me just play the fundamental uh, frequency here. So everything is at zero. Nice. And as you can see here in the oscilloscope at the end, we have just one sine wave playing, which is the fundamental uh, column here at the start. And now we can go in and dial in another partial. And I use here the third harmonic. As you can see, it comes in here. And it changes when I play different keys.
so now to create um, interesting sounds, you have to apply some modulations. And if we look here at my voice, you can see all these different peaks you can replace with sine waves and just have or have the same sound or you can resynthesize my voice with just sine waves by exchanging all these peaks with sine waves or basically all these peaks are sine waves if you want just uh, with different frequencies and different amplitude modulations as you can see it's pretty complex so um they have this applied here in our case. Um, I thought about just duplicating the ADSR 20 times for each partial, so we can dial in multiple ADSRs for each partial, but it's maybe not needed. So I have this ADSR at the sum of all these modules at the end, but I also applied um, this modulator out to all these values here at the bottom, as you can see. And these values go into attenuate, so it can dial in different partials. So in this case, we have just dialed in the third harmonic. Okay. And then at the bottom here, I have lag and delay. As you can see, when I press a key, the harmonic is basically exactly modulated like the fundamental, which makes sense because it's the same ADSR, but we can introduce lag um, to just this partial. And now it's a bit delayed or the ramp, the attack ramp is a bit not so steep. And you can also introduce delay, so it's a bit offset, so the complete ADSR envelope is just offset backwards. So it becomes more interesting. And if you do this with all kinds of partials, with different settings and different delays and lags. The brain just recognizes all these different partials as one sound, but the sound is more complex because um, there are so many modulations happening in all the different harmonics. And you can see the complexity of the sound here in the oscilloscope because this is the sum of all the partials. Okay, then we have um, a value here at the top, which is used to narrow the partials down to the fundamental frequency. So um, if you have, this is at zero, all the partials are at the, f at the harmonic series in the right place. And if you dial this up to 100%, all the partials are going down to the fundamental frequency. So, um, if we look here at our oscilloscope again, you can see all the partials here popping in, and then we can dial it back to just the fundamental frequency. So with this, you can also create some interesting sounds. Also on the sine wave oscillator, I have activated this um, second button here for, for a second um, sine wave or sine waves for each channel. So I have a sine wave at the left channel and sine wave at the right channel. 
and they are slightly offset in frequency range, so they have some kind of stereo effect. But if you turn this up, you get more disharmonic sounds. So um, yeah, you can download this in my GitHub repository and play around with it and experiment uh, with your own ideas and maybe extend it. And if you have a solution for um, yeah to creating partials without having so much uh, used CPU power, then let me know. I'm interested. And this is called uh, Additive Wonder. And yeah, I put a link in the description below so you can download it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching this video and have fun with this preset. And I uh, see you in the next video. Bye.